Stop it. 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 Kiki, do you love me? You're not gonna believe what just happened. Is he singing to himself again? What is up everybody? I am Kevin the Skull Anderson. This is Talking to Myself News. And I have still, after four and a half years, a lot of growing up to do. I'm starting to think I'm a lost cause. Because... The way I look at it, I probably am. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just not. I'm not a good person. I'm not a good person. I help people out a lot, but I can't figure out how to help myself. So, two weeks ago, I was just sick and I was tired of everything, so I thought it'd be a good idea to just go off my meds again and of course when I go off my meds nobody can stand me nobody can tolerate me and I'm really limited I'm limited to what I can do here but since I don't have any other place to go it's like well what the hell's the point what the hell is the point you know you got all this stuff going on for whatever reason and yet, at the same time, at the same time, you're trying to figure out how to handle your own life, how to control your own life. And in my case, it's the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Growing up is a very difficult thing to do. Especially if you're someone like me that is legitimately autistic, whose autism didn't come from a vaccine, whose autism is genetic because both of his parents were mentally ill. Bottom line, what I'm saying is, I'm, I'm not necessarily one to say that I've peaked as a human being, but people, I've aged about 20 years in the last four. That's not fucking good. Not good at all. And the fact that I'm here talking to you, letting you know what's going on in my life, everything that I need to know, inevitably is going to be right here because when the day comes to where my mind gives up on me, I'll be able to rely on these videos, these diaries within the Talking to Myself news series that I can turn to if ever I need to remember who I was compared to what I am. It's really sad for me to admit, but I'm a junk food addict. I love junk food. I do, a lot. I love junk food. I eat so much of it sometimes to where... Like last weekend, sometimes I'll eat seven, eight, nine boxes of junk food in a few days. Kid you not. That actually happens with me. Because once I get addicted to junk food, you don't come back from it. With that being said... 16 years ago today, I had to bury my father. My father was one of the only people in my family who could understand what I was about, who knew what I was about, who wanted me to stand up for myself, who wanted me to do everything possible to be the best that I could be. And I haven't had a father figure in almost, 50, in almost 
well, it's been 16 years now. I haven't had a father figure in like 16 freaking years. So I've had to turn to other people in my family that know me, like my cousin, like my sister, like my mom, who's still alive, my Uncle Rick, my Aunt Lisa. Of course, Rick and Lisa are very, very popular names, obviously, but the point I'm trying to make is simple. I am desperately in need of help. The stuff that I cannot get professionally, the stuff that I cannot get through any other means whatsoever except through my talents, through my ability to make videos, to edit my videos, to create art digitally and traditionally, to make music digitally and traditionally, to write. It's through those talents that I'm able to cope with the loss of my dad 16 years later. And I'm still reeling over that loss. I haven't really recovered from it. Which is why I have stunted mentally, permanently stunted, in terms of mentality. And so I will forever be an 11 and a half year old trapped in a grown man's body. Even though I'm supposed to be 27 and a half years old. Even though I'm supposed to be a grown fucking man. With self-control. But the fact is, I have no self-control sometimes. Sometimes I just let my junk food addiction get to me. Which is why I limit, which is why I'm actually limited to two snacks a day and three meals. But since of what, since what happened last week was my own doing, can't have any snacks for a while. And I'm perfectly okay with that. I don't mind that at all. I think that's the right way for me to just take a break from the snacks. Honestly, if it were up to me, I'd quit snacks altogether and just eat three meals a day. With the occasional drink. Like, not alcohol, because I can't take alcohol because I'm on medicine. But, rather, say, cheer wine. Or anything diet or decaf. As long as it's diet or decaf, I can drink it. CAC. I mean calf. Yeah, diet decaf. Why did I say CAC? Fucking hell. So I figure that by making these videos, it's going to serve as some kind of therapy for me. Because I'm the kind of person whose brain cannot be fixed by medicine alone. It's, it's not, you understand, it's not possible. To fix my brain by medicine alone. You'd, you'd have to... What I need is a job. I need a job. I need a good job that's going to pay me by the hour. That's what I need. And as I'm recording this, on this Christmas Eve Thursday, I have a lot to be thankful for, even though I clearly don't deserve any of it. I'm thankful for this roof over my head, but I don't deserve it. I'm glad that I have it. But I clearly don't deserve a roof over my head. You know what I deserve? To be six feet under the ground. But that's beside the point. The point is, I'm thankful for so many things that I get to do in this life because most people in this world don't get the privilege to do these things that I do. Because they're just... They're not financially capable of it like I am. They don't have a steady environment. They don't have a safe environment. And many of these people are poor or grow up poor and are so impoverished that they can't even get bread at a line. You know? So I'm grateful that I don't have to go through all that yet. I will at some point, just not right now. Hopefully not anytime soon. But the thing is, I'm a troubled man. 
I'm very troubled. And I can't seem to get my head around the fact that I'm just too stubborn for my own good sometimes because every single day I have to remind myself and I have to be reminded of the fact that there are limits to what I can do here. And maybe, you know, maybe I do deserve to be reminded every day of how shit I am, how much of a piece of shit a human being I am. Maybe I do deserve that. For all the fucking hell that I've put people through in the past. The fact that nobody wants to be around me. The fact that nobody cares to be around me without my medicine. That says a lot. Even with my medicine, nobody wants to be around me. And I can't say I'm shocked because that's all my fucking fault. I blame myself for that. I take responsibility for that. I'll take it on the fucking chin all day. But here's the deal. I don't want your sympathy. I don't care for your sympathy. All I want to know is that you guys can relate to what I'm going through. Because every single day that I go through it, it's like I'm taking one step forward and about 200 steps back. Because no matter what I do that day, no matter what kind of good things I do for that day, there's always that one thing, that one thing that I do wrong and it fucks everything else up and renders everything I've done good null and void. And it figures, considering I grew up in a fucking broken home, like many of you out there grew up in a broken home, and that's because of the fact that every day that I live, I know I have a choice to make, whether it be good or bad. Sometimes I have no choice to make. Sometimes I have to do something for my own good because I need to do it. And if I don't do it, then I'm going to be taken to some godforsaken psychiatric hospital somewhere. But that's neither here nor there. So being this person that I am, being this stubborn, ornery person that I am, when I get high on sugar or caffeine... I bounce off the walls like there's no tomorrow, because there really isn't any tomorrow. In fact, tomorrow isn't guaranteed. I just know it. But that's why I have, that's why there is such a thing as decaf sodas and diet decaf sodas and diet sodas and diet, diet, diet sodas and so on. But of course, we all know this. If you followed my YouTube channel, my first because my, well actually it was my second YouTube channel, my first was what I like to call a stillborn account, but my second YouTube channel, my second YouTube channel had over 900 videos on there, but for some reason I couldn't remember my password and I wasn't able to get back into it, so I created this one, my third channel, my third YouTube channel, you know, Skull Media Enterprises Channel 2, yeah. But I have been on YouTube for basically active, I've been active on YouTube for almost six, actually seven and a half years now. And in those seven and a half years, I've discovered so many things about myself, right? So many things about myself that I can't really explain to many other people because they won't get it. Because they're not abnormal like I am. They just, they have their own way of thinking and their way of thinking isn't my way of thinking. And when two ways of thinking collide, you can only go so far before you say, I agree to disagree. So that being said, we live in a time and age where everybody gets offended by everything. And everything is taken out of context by everyone. So, when you look at it like that, you just gotta understand and just look at yourself in the mirror one good time and say, Hey, I made it this far, I'm not dead yet. What can I accomplish today to make sure that I have something good to look forward to tomorrow? And you know, another problem that I have. 
Another problem that I have is that I can't seem to figure out how to take the help that is given to me. Namely, some of the advice that I give myself. I don't know how to take my own advice sometimes because, like I said, I'm stubborn. And I want to do things a certain way. And meanwhile, the right way is constantly shown to me. And for the fucking life of me, I can't figure out what that right way is because I'm not right-handed like most people are. And when you're left-handed like I am, you're automatically at a disadvantage. And so because you're at a disadvantage and you're left-handed, that means you have to do things in reverse order. You know? So it just figures itself out. I'm bored. Not that I have anything else to do, but, you know, fuck it. You know, as I take a good look around me, it seems like a couple of days out of the house would be therapy for me. Well, it's, it's going to take a lot longer than a couple of days for me to be comfortable living where I'm at again because I don't, I don't really care much for where I'm at, but at the same time, I know I have nowhere else to go, so I have to fucking stay here, even though I'm, even though I'm very limited in what I can do. Cognitively, dictatorially, dictatorially, or whatever the pronunciation is for that, I'm very limited on what I can do. And since I have the mentality of an 11 and a half year old, there are only so many ways I can go about things before I have to ask for help. And when I ask for help, sometimes the answer is staring at me, plain in the fucking face, slapping me across the face, you know, you know, shit like that. The answer is staring at me, slapping me in the face. And I still can't figure out what that answer is. It's. <laughs> I don't get it anymore. I don't. But I try to keep a straight face about it all. And I try to do my best and whatever. But even with my medicine, I'm still a fucking nervous wreck. According to most people. But I'm not most people. So who the fuck am I supposed to be? Myself, right? The best version of myself that I can be. Is myself. You know? Because nobody can take that away from me. Except. School. School I think took that away from me. Because it didn't teach me anything. In community college. That I didn't already know before. It just kept feeding me the rehashed. Same old fucking bullshit. That I was taught. In high school. Hundred years ago, this country was teaching Latin in high school. Now, it's teaching remedial English in college because people are fucking privileged. They don't fucking think before they speak. And about 10 or 11% of the American population is illegal immigrants. You know? And it's really sad. It's sad that it's had to come to this. But at the same time, it's like, well, I'm here. I'm glad that I'm here. I have a lot of luxuries here that I wouldn't have anywhere else, like in a group home or psychiatric hospital or in a prison or in another person's home or in some other place. I wouldn't have these luxuries anywhere else, just here. But that's not really nothing to sneeze at, now is it? If, if you're not in my shoes. But when you're in my shoes, it's kind of a big fucking deal. Because I take everything extremely seriously. Like, if I, if I drop something, because I know everything in this house is fucking expensive. So if I drop something, I'll curse myself out. Not profusely, but I'll curse myself out. You know what I'm saying? And 
then of course I'm told that it's not a big deal. It's not that bad. But sometimes they don't understand. It's a big fucking deal to me. Even though it's not a big deal to you. And so, here I stand, or sit in this case. Actually, I could stand, but since I'm kind of lax and very laid back right now, I really don't feel like giving a shit anymore, because nice guys don't finish at all. Until they're dead, of course, because a nice person's work is never done. And... It's so easy for a person to be the villain nowadays. It's so easy. And most people don't even realize they're being the villain. But sometimes they don't realize that they are when they are. But when you really look at it, when you really look at it, it's so complicated to be the good guy and all this. It's so complicated to not be a victim of someone who, you know, did this or did that or did the other. Not that that matters or anything, but nobody cares. Even, I mean, they say they care, but nobody really cares. This world is a selfish, fucked up place. It's a selfish and screwed up place... And quite frankly, I could give a damn if I were no longer in it. I couldn't give a damn if I were no longer in it. You know why? Because this world isn't meant for people like me to be in it. This world is not meant for people like myself to be in it. To exist. Because people like me are too fucking vulnerable. They're too gullible. Sometimes they'll fall for things. And you know what's funny? Everything that I do, every single solitary thing that I do, is monitored. Yes, we live in the fucking surveillance age. Don't at me. But we live in the surveillance age because people don't give a damn about what they can and can't control. They just think, oh, well, I can do this, I can do that, and I can get away with it. There's a problem. The people that we elected think they can get away with it too, so they make laws that they exempt themselves from. Not necessarily a good thing in it, right? Not necessarily a good thing, now is it? I know, I just totally went gangster when I said in it, but... You know, every now and then I'll go gangster, like thug life, but that's only when I'm speaking. Figures itself out, doesn't it? Yeah, it just really boggles the mind. Tonight I'm going to my sister's for Christmas to celebrate the holidays. I'm going to my sister and brother-in-law's to celebrate the holidays, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm not going to lie, I really am looking forward to it. And I know that I'm 27 and a half years old, and I know that I'm not supposed to pick my nose as a grown fucking goddamn man, but I do that every now and then. Luckily... I don't eat my boogers as much anymore. Not nearly as much anymore. Because, you know, eating your boogers is the same thing as eating sawdust. But, you know. Speaking of which, sometimes I like to be creative. Case in point, what I'm doing here. Now, you want to know how I filmed it like this, right? Put it to you like this. This is my camera. That is a roll of scotch tape. And so I'm able to create this tunnel effect just by pointing the scotch tape right in front of the camera. And you gotta help us! No, I'm just kidding. 
I don't know. The point is, I have no social life. I have no life general. I have no life period. And I need a life. I do. I really do need a life. And the only way I can get one is if I get a job. If I get a job, everything's going to work out. If I get a job, things are going to go well in my favor again. But until I get a job, things are not going to get any better for me. In fact, they're only going to get worse. I just know it. So until I finally do get another job, this will be my second paid job in total in how long has it been? Like eight years? This will be my second paying job and my third job overall in eight years. If that doesn't tell you that America is a laughing stock of the world, then that says nothing to you. But it says a lot to me because it proves in my mind that you're not as informed as I am and you need to be. You got to know this stuff. It'll save your life, literally. Here's the thing. When I'm bored, I like to doze off and sleep. I like to sleep. Yeah, I do. I really do. Kid you not. When I'm bored, the one thing I like to do is sleep. And sometimes eat. Because how else did I get this fat? I know I'm only 193 pounds, but still, I think that's fat. <laughs> I need to lose about 20 pounds before I can consider myself healthy again. And what the hell is healthy anymore? You can't be free to make your own decisions because the government watches everything you do. So you're damned to do anything anymore. It's crazy. You can't do shit without the government watching your every move. So here's the thing. I'm going to keep doing videos in this style as long as talking to myself news is a series on YouTube. This is already the sixth season. You know? Six freaking seasons, right? And there's going to be a seventh. I'm, I'm going to promise you that. There's going to be a seventh. So, if you guys want to stick around long enough to see that, be my guest. But if you're one of the 307, if you're one of the 300 plus people that subscribe to my pri, excuse me, previous, that's what I was going to say, but I tried to combine the words prior with previous. I have a habit of combining words a lot. But... If you're one of the over 300 people that subscribed to my second long-standing YouTube channel, which I cannot get back into, feel free to hop over to this one, because I guarantee you, you won't regret it. You won't regret it a bit. I mean, seriously, it's that easy. All you gotta do is click subscribe. And with that said, I am out of here. So from me to you, happy holidays, and as always, uh!